I'd like to show you a book I got just recently. It shows the specifications of 4,500 non-ferrous alloys. It has got to be the most interesting book I've ever seen. Anyway, after a very interesting few hours of reading through the specifications, I came across these two alloys, grade 99 and grade 103. These alloys are silicon bronze and you'll see when you come across to here there's copper, iron and miscellaneous. And there it shows the silicon in there. The reason why I find this alloy very interesting is that I have ferrosilicon which I use with cast iron and it contains 75% silicon and roughly the rest is iron. And if we go back to the iron content again, my calculations show me that the iron content in the resulting alloy will be probably just a little bit below what you see in there, the iron content, 1.25 to 1.75 and 1.75 to 2.25. Here is a close-up shot on what ferrosilicon looks like and the procedure to add it is I melted the copper first and then add ferrosilicon afterwards and let it slowly dissolve in the melt. Here's a close-up view of what the scrap copper looks like that I used in this experiment. The furnace is ready to go. It's been charged with scrap copper and there's some soda ash flux on top. And here is the mould. I'm now going to add ferrosilicon. Here is the casting. It's been cleaned up, painted and polished. That's come out quite nice. Now I'd like to show you what happens when you use a pattern and how much you lose from the original pattern to the resulting casting. Now this original pattern was 310 millimetres long and the casting is 4.4 millimetres shorter. That's what's called shrinkage in a casting and you have to allow for that when you make matching patterns. Here is some of the leftover metal poured into an ingot. I'd like to do a test and see just how strong it is and how much it bends before it breaks. bends quite well. Wow, still hasn't broken yet.
still hasn't broken. It's one really tough metal. Ingot is back in the vise and what I'll do, I'll just keep tightening the vise until it breaks. Wow, have a look at that. It just did not break. It's one very flexible metal.